So I recently read this uh, book, a just very interesting book, entitled The Rise and Fall of Dispensationalism. And um, I, I really enjoyed the book. It's probably one of the most enjoyable books I've read in a while. Um, and, and probably because I'm just very interested in the topic, uh, but also... The author is just a really good writer, um, holds your attention, um, he knows his stuff, and uh, so it's just a very interesting, fascinating book, The Rise and Fall of Dispensationalism. The author's name is Daniel Hummel, Dr. Daniel Hummel. He is a history professor at the University of Wisconsin, and um, like I said, just a very interesting uh, book. Let me tell you a little bit about uh, the book. Well, I first heard about the book from my good friend Al Mohler. <laughs> no, I did hear about it from Al Mohler, but uh, it was on his uh, podcast, uh, Thinking in Public, which is a, a fascinating podcast. I, I just love uh, listening to uh, Dr. Mohler on Thinking in Public. If you're not familiar with that, check it out. Uh, just a little personal uh, behind the scenes. I, I like um, sometimes when my wife goes to bed after uh, late at night and turn the lights down and, and log in and, and listen in as if I'm sort of sitting in listening to these two very intelligent people having a discussion on various topics. And a few weeks ago, uh, Dr. Mohler had uh, Dr. Hummel in talking about the book Rise and Fall of Dispensationalism and and it was just fascinating. I'm like, I gotta get that book. And so I did and I was not disappointed. Uh, one, of, one of the reasons why I think I, I liked it so much is because I'm somewhat familiar with the uh, topic already. And so when he's naming names, I'm familiar with those names, but then he gives it just a one step further, you know, and sort of some behind the scenes and some things that are happening big picture wise and, and down to the um, uh, detail of personal things. And so it was just a very interesting. Now, uh, before I go any further, I want to tell you about the, the book itself, but I know that some people that are watching this video uh, probably clicked on uh, the link because uh, the title of the book is fascinating. You want to hear about it. You're thinking about getting it. Uh, let me go ahead and recommend it. Uh, but other people are are also uh, wondering what in the world is dispensationalism, and um, especially friends of mine or family members are, are saying. Now you may not know the terminology, but uh, you probably do know what dispensationalism is. It's it's just what the default position of most evangelicals in. In our uh, culture today in America uh, because that's how we were raised. And in, in fact, uh, when, I, when I was growing up in a Southern Baptist church, conservative, Bible-believing uh, uh, Southern Baptist church, I didn't realize that there was any other uh, understanding of the end times. Uh, and dispensationalism isn't just about the end times, but if you're familiar with the rapture and, uh, you know, the secret rapture, the left behind old scenario, uh, the gr late great planet Earth, uh, older than uh, back in the 70s, and then, you know, the rapture and the the uh, seven-year tribulation and then the millennium and all, on, on all of that, that comes out of premillennial dispensationalism. And like I, like I said, I was, I was taught there, there was, really wasn't any other option and, uh, other than what liberals believe and, uh, and, and people that denied the Bible. But then when I went to college and, and got the reading on my own and, and some things, realized that wasn't the case. And, and uh, I actually adopted amillennialism and then probably about 10 years or so ago uh, became a post-millennialist, so full disclosure uh, there. But um, let me get back to the book itself because I want to tell you about the book. It's basically a history. Uh, what Dr. Hummel does is sort of walk you through the development of dispensational thinking in in America mostly. He does deal with Europe and, and, and England and stuff, but pro mainly in America. And so he starts in the mid-late 1800s. Uh, dispensationalism's a relatively new idea in uh, the, the scope of Christian history that, you know, goes back 2,000 years. And uh, beginning with a couple of people, especially Darby, popularizing it. And he, he walks you through some uh, very familiar names of Schofield and, and then the fundamentalist movement and, and, um, and, uh, and other things like that. And some of the major conferences that, that he uh, traces through. And, of course, then to Billy Graham and, and, El and other things. And, and I won't walk you through the history uh, of it. Uh, that's what the whole book is, is about. And so it's a really fascinating uh, book. He, he deals with uh, even into pop culture, what I'm most familiar with, you know, the 70s and 80s. Um, he even talks about, you know, Christian uh, uh, contemporary Christian music with, like, Larry Norman, 
uh, wish we'd all been ready. Uh, I, I remember uh, in, the, in the 70s, in the early 70s, when, when that song first came out. Now, I was just a little kid. We actually sang uh, I Wish We'd All Been Ready in children's choir. I remember in my little church, uh, Southern Baptist Church in, in Baton Rouge. And now looking back, we must have had some pretty hip adults uh, back then in the early 70s in that church. Uh, I'll have to ask my parents a little bit more about that. But Whatever the case, uh, those kinds of things have just filtered in to the culture and to the air. And of course, you know, with the uh, Left Behind uh, series of books and, and and other things like that, that he deals with. And so it's just a rare, very interesting book. Now, he calls it the rise and fall of dispensationalism. Uh, I didn't really realize that dispensationalism had fallen. And well, a, a couple of things a, about that. One is, his point is that in not in the pop culture, popular culture, but in academics, um, it's kind of hard to find classic uh, dispensationalists uh, today. Now, there's some that would consider themselves progressive dispensationalism, and um, I won't go into what that is. The book deals with that um, somewhat, um, but more, more he's just talking about the development of it and that it has so, sort of fallen out of fashion in, in academics and gives some reasons why and, and all the rest. And so that's pretty, pretty interesting there. Um, now... I, I did see there's some scuttlebutt uh, pushing back against that that this book, especially from dispensationalists, as you can imagine. And um, I, and I watched a couple of YouTube videos about it and read a couple of blog posts uh, about it. And some some dispensationalists are pretty upset uh, with with the book. Uh, but to read their side of it, you would almost think that the book was a polemic against dispensationalism. And that, that's not the case. Um, he, he does not take them to task. He does not degrade them. Uh, he does not, um, I guess, uh, some might uh, see him sort of caricature. Car caricaturing um, their movement and their their uh, the theological persuasion. And, and, and I don't think he meant, really meant it that way. He was just painting things with a broad brush and, and this is how things developed and all the rest. He wasn't trying to tear down dispensationalism as much as just explain the history of the rise and fall of dispensationalism. Um, and so, uh, but I can see how some people would take that and be a little bit defensive. Now, Dr. Hummel did admit that he, like most of us, grew up in dispensationalism and now has moved away from that, does not uh, refer to him himself as a dispensationalist. I, I think, I can't remember if it was in uh, Dr. Uh, Moeller's interview with him or in the book itself. He um, identifies with historic premillennialism instead of dispensational premillennialism. But um, uh, whatever the case, it was just a, a really fascinating book. Um, now, now, I, if I wanted to push back on anything in the book, and, and this is sort of being nitpicky, the subtitle is a, was a little misleading, I have to admit. Uh, the subtitle is, and now I don't have it pulled up, and I'll have to just off the top of my head try to, uh, it was something like, um, The Rise and Fall of Dispensationalism, How uh, the ba Evangelical Battle Over the End Times Shaped a Nation. Something along those lines. And that subtitle really wasn't extremely accurate. Um, it was a little bit misleading, which was fine with me. That's not really my interest. But I, I know I have some friends, especially, that are very interested in um, uh, politics and especially foreign policy and all, all, all of that. And I think, and, and, and Dr. Hummel does mention that in one of the, one of the chapters is on politics. And so he does mention Reagan and the Bushes, you know, and uh, some of their foreign policy about Israel and all, all the rest. But um, that's not, to put that in the subtitle was, you would think, almost think that the whole book was about that. And, and it really wasn't, um, which is fine with me. But if you're looking for, and it probably could be a book in and of itself. Um, he sort of hints at some of the things that dispensationalism and the understanding of the end times and how history is going to play out with the Battle of Armageddon and, and all of those things has really shaped uh, American foreign policy. 
And uh, that's a fascinating uh, idea. He touches on that in one of the chapters, and um, he could probably spin off an entire book on that and even get more in-depth. Um, but if that's what you're thinking the book is primarily and exclusively about, it's not. It's wider than that. It walks through everything uh, from politics to pop culture to academics and how dispensationalism really played out on the historic timeline. And... Um, so it was just a interesting book. Let me think, think if there was anything else that I wanted to say about the book. I, I, I don't think so. I, I need to just cut this video short. I ramble on a little bit too much sometimes. And I want you to get off of YouTube and go read a book. And if you have a, I want a book uh, that would be great to read, would be The Rise and Fall of Dispensationalism.